da 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 Do you want to be a geographic kid? Would you like to know the things the tiger did? Count the stripes upon a zebra Watch an ostrich Need a cheetah You just got, got to, to be, be a geographic kid See koala climb a tree While the whales swim in the sea Float with the sea after Watch the lizard cross the water There he go <laughs> It fun to travel geographic style Go out and greet the dolphins in the wild Flamingo take a flapping The great big cat is napping Did you see that hippo's mouth? I think he smiled at you <laughs> Join the Geo Kids and you'll be smiling too <laughs> Chameleons have some of the best bug-catching tongues in the whole world. <laughs> and long, too. Yep. <laughs> A sticky tongue is one of the things that makes us chameleons special. Oh, wow. What do you mean? Chameleons are weird-looking reptiles. Lizards that live among leaves. To you, we may seem kind of clumsy at first. But we're built for life in the trees. Our special feet look like mittens that hold on with all of their might. And our tails can wrap around branches to keep us from falling, that's right. When we walk, our steps are quite careful in slow motion, which keeps us from sight. Our colors help us to blend in some more and stay camouflaged in shadows or light. Chameleon's eyes are amazing, for each one can move on its own. So we can look two directions at once and watch everything wherever we roam. 
When we're hungry, our long, sticky tongue does the work of bringing home nice, juicy snacks. Like a bullwhip, it shoots from our mouth to the bug, grabs it, and snaps right on back. Yum. So that's how chameleons go through their days, living in branches and leaves, chomping on insects up in the trees. We're really quite hard to believe. Wow, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Bobby, will you get off of me? Oh, uh, fine. <laughs> Gosh, Uncle Balzac, chameleons must be the most special animals in the whole world. Yeah. Why, thank you, Sonny. <laughs> but every animal is special in some way. They are? Really? Oh, sure. Think about it. <laughs> the cheetah is the fastest of any animal on the land. The turtle is slow, but look at her go as she walks across the sand. <laughs> the kangaroo hops all around, and the fish swims in the water. The snake goes slithering across the land as the desert sun gets hotter because every creature is special. Yes, you know that's true. Whether fast or slow, look at them go. And remember, they're special just like you. Like I hurt myself. The hummingbird is teeny tiny. The bear is big and strong. Ooh. Giraffes eat leaves from tall, tall trees because their necks are very long. Woo. The spider spins her web between the branches of the tree. The owl says, Ooh. <laughs> Isn't that cute? But only bees can make honey because every creature is special. Yes, you know that's true. Whether big or small, short or tall, remember, they're special just like you. That's right. The elephant has that special trunk, and the zebra wears those stripes. The walrus has lots of blubber to keep them warm both day and night. Yeah. Every creature is special. Yes, you know that's true. Look at the features of all the creatures and remember, they're special just like you. That's right, each and every one of them. Just like you. Special. Francisco Flamenco here because it's time for. Time for another flamingo fact. Today we're going to talk about a funny looking creature who lives in the desert the camel with the big hump. The camel can walk across the hot sand for days or even weeks without drinking a single drop of water. And that's important, because there aren't a whole lot of drops of water sitting around in the desert. You see, the camel eats plants if he can find them, and the water in the plants is plenty to wet his whistle. Now about that hump. The camel has a special hump on his back where he stores fat for extra energy, sort of like an extra gas tank for long trips. But wait till you see this. The camel also has big padded feet to keep him from sinking in the sand. Now here comes the best part. In a sandstorm, whoo, the sand blows up your nose, in your eyes, and right up your everything. But now for the camel, he can slam his nostrils shut, bam, so the sand won't go in there. And he got two rows of eyelashes, not one, two, to keep that sand out of his eyeballs. Whoo, the camel, a special hump, Big padded feet, two rows of eyelashes, 
and nostrils that slam shut. That's one heck of a desert creature. So that is that for that flamingo fact. See you later. <laughs> See you later from really gracefully. Sonny, here I go. Simon says... Uh, close your eyes. Okay. Simon says... Uh, uh, open your eyes. <gasps> and eat a bug. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Come on, Simon says. Yeah, well, Sonny says no way. You eat a bug. Well, I would if I could find one. You would? Sure he would! Huh? I would? Yeah! <laughs> That's one of the special things about bush babies. Yuck! Doesn't sound so special to me. Yeah, well, we could do other things, too. Like what? Well, we... we can... <laughs> like jump halfway from here to Timbuktu without even working up a sweat. <laughs> we can? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure we can. Can we? Absolutely. Bush babies are great jumpers. And that's not the only thing that's special about a bush baby. Yeah. Who's that watching from up in the tree? Turning his head all around? With great big eyes that help him to see. And ears that don't miss a sound. Why this powerful little fur ball leaping from tree to tree with those very strong legs and a big fluffy tail is called a bush baby. One of nature's finest jumpers in the branches or on the ground among the trees in Africa is where they can be found. They leap all around in the forest looking for insects to eat. Unless they find some tree sap to lick, to them it tastes very sweet. When mother bush baby goes hunting, she brings baby bush baby along and hides him up in the branches where he can stay safe while she's gone. But if danger should ever approach him, mother is always alert. She returns to her baby so quickly and saves him before he gets hurt. Whether sleeping up in a tree hole or poking their heads out to peek, bush babies are truly quite special. To watch them is really a treat. Gosh, bush babies can do all that? Sure. Yeah, because we bush babies are special. Whoa, 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 oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, Bobby. <laughs> and some of us are clumsy when we're little, too. <laughs> Gee, must be nice to be so special. I bet you wish you were a bush baby, too, huh, Sonny? Now, Bobby, honey possums are special, too. We are? They are? Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. We are, we are, we are. Hmm? 
we are? Sure. Well, how? How? Oh, that's easy. Um, hmm. <laughs> Tell him, Uncle Bowser. Mm, okay. In the land called Australia lives the honey possum, whose itsy bitsy teeny size makes what they do quite awesome. Peeking from a shiny leaf or perched upon a blossom, it's really a rare sight to see, the tiny honey possum. Weighing almost nothing, they crawl out to the tips of tiny branches bearing flowers. Now that's a dangerous trip. The honey possum's pointy nose can sniff out certain flowers, then poke between the petals for the food that gives them power. The food they seek is nectar, which is oh so very sweet. They lick it up with brush-tipped tongues. Now that's a special treat. To help them reach this tasty food and lap it up just right, special fingers, toes, and a tail help them hold on extra tight. When it's time to take a nap and they're feeling quite well fed, they curl up in a tiny ball and make a twig their bed. So that's how honey possums live. They eat and sleep and climb among the flowers, twigs and leaves in honey possum time. Gosh, boy, Sonny, I guess you honey possums are pretty special too. Yeah, bush babies, honey possums, chameleons, we're all special. That's right. I'll say. <gasps> hey, eat another bug, Uncle Balzac. Oh, no. Please. <laughs> Not right now, Bobby. I'm trying to cut down on my between-meal bugs. Huh? <laughs> between-meal bugs. It, it's a joke. Oh. Uh, Do you get it? I don't get it. Well, you get it? no. <laughs> Like rabbit, gorilla, and fly, all begin with letters. Like F, which starts to fly. If you repeat that sound just before you sing the name, soon Animal Doo Wop will be your favorite game. Come on! G -g -g Camel, G -g -g fly, R -r -r rabbit, G -g gorilla. Geo Kids Journeys to Africa. Black and white zigzag stripes everywhere they roam. The zebras of these rolling plains call Africa their home. Zebras look like horses of a very special type. Have you ever wondered why their coats have all those stripes? Baby stripes can help them find the herd when they're away. After all, there's safety in numbers. At least that's what they say. When they run together, it's hard to spot just one, cause all those stripes get blurry in the shimmering African sun. Even though to us, every zebra looks the same, each zebra's stripes are different from their tail up to their mane. Perhaps their special patterns, designed like nature's art, Help zebras in that crowded herd tell each other apart. All zebra stripes are different, that we know is true. Just as no one in this world looks exactly the same as you. Ladies and gentlemen, step right 
Yeah. Seen a spotted skunk walk on his hands. This is one special skunk, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the little critter protect himself from a ferocious cougar cub by walking on his hands and spraying some really smelly skunk stuff. Woo! Fee you! See the contortionist frog! That's right! See the waxing frog stretch his legs over every inch of his body to cover himself in a protective coat of wax! Talk about limba! This guy looks like he's made of rubber! You've never seen a frog stretch like this before! And don't miss the leaping lima family! That's right! You've never seen leaping till you've seen lima leaping! And now, back to Sunny, Bobby, and Balzac. Uncle Balzac, Bobby, where are you? <sighs> uh, there you are. What? What's up, Sonny? Well, I made up a thing. Uh, a poem. You know, a story. You want to hear it? Not sure what we're getting into here, Bobby, but... Uh... What do you say? Well, I don't know. Great. Uh, okay, great. Okay. Um, I know a special animal whose story I want to tell. Oh. It's very slow and very nice and lives inside a shell. The end. It's a turtle. Oh, oh why that was very nice, Sonny. Hey, is that all there is? What do you mean, is that all there is? Uncle Balzac said it was nice. Oh, well, it was nice. <laughs> Short, but nice. <laughs> well, I liked it. Now, kids, of course that's not all there is to say about turtles. It isn't? No! Turtles are slow and they have hard shells. This creature called a turtle wears his home upon his back. His face is old and wrinkled, and his nose is very flat. Some turtles live in water and then come up on land to lay their eggs down in a hole and cover them with sand. Later, when they're ready, the baby turtles hatch. They crawl out to the water's edge in a baby turtle batch. One time, an alligator tried to eat a turtle for lunch, but the shell was just too hard for that alligator to crunch. Another time, a jaguar tried to take a bite, but he couldn't get a grip, and he soon gave up the fight. Because the turtle is protected by his very special shell. Whether big or very small, that turtle's really swell. Who's that swimming in the water? Who's that living in the sea? Who's that funny looking creature? I wonder what its funny name could be. Kidding you there. Celia was actually a sea slug, a very special sea creature. You see, Celia swam in the sea by swinging her body from side to side. But Celia the sea slug wasn't alone. Oh no, there were many brightly colored sea slugs sliding around on the ocean floor. Now, Celia the sea slug had a special trait. Celia could eat the stinging tube anemone. 
You see, Celia would slide across the sand, slowly sneak up on an unsuspecting anemone, and wham! Shove her face right in there and scoop out a tasty snack. Woo! Anyone for seconds? Wham! There she goes again! Now eating these stinging snacks gave Celia a secret weapon. Because the stinging stuff from those tube anemones made Celia able to sting too. And that sting helped protect her from much bigger creatures like this hungry sea lion. So there you have it, the story of Celia the Sea Slug. Wham! And her special sea slug secret. So long, Celia. Seal you around. <laughs> That's who's swimming in the water. That's who's living in the sea. Such a funny looking creature. Surely doesn't look like you or me. Who's that? Who's that? Sonny, keep trying harder. Don't you want to see that tongue-tail thing again? Bobby, I don't want to find another bug for Uncle Balzac. I'd rather find a... Bobby, come quick! Will you find a bug? No, another one of those. Oh, what is it? I don't know. Alphabet <gasps> rock. Let her see. Makes the k sound like k camel and k cow. K correct. How about k cat? <laughs> of k course. And k k k k k choo. Gesundheit. Uh, thank you. <laughs> now where was I? Um. Oh yeah, C for k cat. I was gonna tell you two about the fastest cacat of all. Oh, I can't wait. Cheetahs run fast and they have black spots. Africa is where you'll find this very special cat. The fastest animal on the land. There's no doubt about that. This pretty spotted cat is graceful, long, and lean. And when it comes to hunting, this cat is the queen. Cheetah is her name, and she stalks and hunts her prey by roaming across the plains in the swift, sleek cheetah way. She uses her tail for balance and also to help her steer. Watch her change direction by moving her tail in the rear. Her furry little cubs have pretty cheetah eyes. They stay right near their mama from sunset to sunrise. Mama will help her little cubs to grow up big and strong. She looks for food to feed them and hides them while she's gone. So that's the pretty cheetah, a very special cat. As fast as she is lovely, there's no doubt about that. We're gonna count to ten now. Ten now. Geographic, style. Geographic style. We're gonna count the creatures. creatures. Gonna, make us smile. gonna make us smile. We do it all together. together. Oh, one by one. one, by one. Any way we do it, <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Here we go now. One tall giraffe, two spotted skunks, three honey possums, four chameleons, five waxing frogs, six sea slugs, seven bush babies, eight cheetahs, nine big turtles, ten sea lions. All the different animals do the number dance. Now we did the counting, counting. from one to ten. From one to ten. We're getting so excited. excited. Gonna do it again. Gonna do it again. You 
can count the creatures. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go. Look for them in numbers. Find the ones you know. One giraffe, two spotted skunks, three honey possums, four chameleons, five frogs, six sea slugs, seven bush babies, eight cheetahs, nine big turtles, ten sea lions. Count up all the animals. Anytime you get the chance. Okay. Please. Huh? Really? Bobby, come quick. He's gonna do it. <laughs> I'm still trying to find a bug for Uncle Balzac. Well, stop. Come on. Let's play. Huh? huh? All righty. <laughs> oh, goody. Let's see now. Um, Simon says... Moo like a cow. Huh? I can, I can do that. that. Yeah, me too. Moo. I kind of like being Simon. Hey, how long do we have to keep mooing anyway? Yeah, my cow's getting tired. Okay, okay. Um, Simon says, stop mooing. And, um, buzz like a fly. Yeah? Hmm? Okay. A fly? Oh, hey, it's no. better than mooing. Not much. Boo, 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 boo. are starting to tickle. Yeah, can we stop buzzing like flies now? Come on now, you two. Buzz for Uncle Balzac. What? <laughs> ah, buzz for Uncle Balzac. That's a good one. <laughs> good. You win. I quit. Yeah, me too. Hey, if I'm not buzzing and you're not buzzing, what's that buzzing? <gasps> Uncle Balzac, look, a fly! What? Oh no, not again! <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, I think I'd like some dessert. I think that was cool. Want to be a geographic kid? Would you like to know the things the tiger did? Count the stripes upon a zebra. Watch an ostrich. Meet a cheetah. You just got, got to, to be, be a geographic kid. See koala climb a tree while the whales swim in the sea. Float with the sea after. Watch the lizard cross the water. There he go. It's fun to travel geographic style. Go out and greet the dolphins in the wild. Flamingo take a flapping. The great big cat is napping. Did you see that hippo's mouth? I think he smiled at you. <laughs> Join the Geo Kids and you'll be smiling too.